I so wanted to do an interpretive dance, but oh, 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 my, no, my back hurts so much from all the baking and gardening and DIY, so it's not going to happen. Huh. Something, something I have been doing um, is reading some poetry um, and I've gone back to a book of Wendell Berry's poetry um, and there's one that has stood out to me um, at the moment um, and it's number 10 in a series of Sabbath poems it goes like this The sky bright after summer ending rain I sat against an oak half up the climb The sun was low the woods was hushed in shadow. Now the long shimmer of the, of the cricket's song had stopped. I looked up to the westward ridge and saw the ripe October light again, shining through leaves still green, yet turning gold. Those glowing leaves made of the light a place that time and leaf would leave. The wind came cool. And then I knew that I was present in the long age of the passing world in which I once was not, now I am, and will not be. And in that time, beneath the changing tree, I rested in a keeping not my own. It's quite a sad poem. Um, it speaks of the end of summer. Uh, and I guess summer, um, autumn is a season that is uh, full of endings. Um, even though there is all this beauty that comes with it, um, there's a lot of death in the falling of all those leaves. Um, at the moment in Ireland, north and south, we've got this incredible spring weather, um, uh, sustained dry spell and um, warmth. Um, it's amazing. Um, I've been opening my windows every morning um, to hear the birds singing. Um, and it's such a comfort in these very strange times. Um, and there's a strange uh, juxtaposition of all this new life that's um, bursting out around us in the face of all the death and suffering um, and the crises um, arising from all, all around the world or arising from the pandemic of COVID-19. I find some solid ground in this poem. Um, when I think about um, autumn, I remember that the mulching of all the leaves is what helps um, to create the, the new life um, in the spring that follows. And despite the transience of our lives um, and being in a time when we're all the more aware of our fragility and the fragility of humanity, um, it's still possible to rest in a keeping that is not our own. Um, I've heard the writer Gareth Higgins speak a couple of times and I remember his observation one time that um, when you're in a story it's really hard to obviously uh, know the end of the story um, because you're in the middle of it and it's hard to know how things are going to pan out and I guess um, it's a bit like that for us at the moment. We just don't know how this whole thing is going to play out. But somehow, knowing that the story isn't over yet um, is something that's hopeful. I um, have also been, the poem has also reminded me of a quotation by Julian of Norwich, who, living in a monastery, knew something about isolation and also lived in a time when plague was prevalent. And she said that if there is anywhere on earth a lover of God who is always kept safe, I know nothing of it, for it was not shown to me. But this was shown, that in falling and rising, again, we are always kept in that same precious love. Stay safe and stay well, friends.